डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड यूर्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल एंड विनय कुमार बेसिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम द शुड बी इन द चैप्टर ऑफ मोशन इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन सो मन की मोशन इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन चाप्टर नीचे खचिता प्रॉब्लम अभी एग्जामे दट वे ऐम गोइंग टू अपलोड आल द प्रॉब्लम यू हाउ टू फॉलो मई चाने रेग्युर्ली so children without let i am going to the topic here there is one problem it is there look here a car travels the first third of a distance with a speed of 10 km per hour the second third distance at 20 km per hour and the last third at 60 km per hour what is the what is its mean speed over the entire distance that is the problem here children see what said a car travels the first third of distance with a speed of 10 km per hour and the second third distance at 20 km per hour and the last one is 60 km per hour what you have to find out we have to find out the mean speed or average speed we have to find out it so children according to the problem so this is the starting point and this is the final point the total distance i am going to take that is the s clear so that should be divided now three equal parts three equal parts so this is the first third distance this is the second third distance and this is the third third distance so that means what total what we are say it taken total distance is s now the first one is s by 3 second one also s by 3 and this is also s by 3 and total distance is what s clear so what is the total distance for s are now आ डिस्टेंस लो फर्स्ट ऑफ में एस एस बाय थ्री आंटे ना रो सेकंड ऑफ एस बाय थ्री आंटे ना रो थर्ड सो एस बाय थ्री आंटे ना रो एंड नेक्स्ट वन ये फर्स्ट थर्ड डिस्टेंस नहीं एंटर स्पीड तो रहेगा तो ट्रायल्स ने कहा रहेगा कि टेन किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड सेकंड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड थर्ड डिस्टेंस � First third distance with 10 km per hour, second third 20 km per hour, and third 60 km per hour. So now what you have to find out? We have to find out the average speed. What you have to find out? Average speed. So what we know? Average speed is equal to what? Total distance. Total distance by time taken, children. So, but in this case, he was not given any thing about the time. But how we can find out the time now here? So here, this is the distance and this is the velocity and this is also velocity. First one third distance, the car can traverse distance with the time t1 and second third distance with the time t2 and third part is the t3 seconds. Clear. <coughs> now here. T1, T2, T3 we are taken. What we know? Velocity is equal to displacement by time we know. Or distance by time we know. V is equal to S by T. V is equal to S by T. Then T means what you have to write? T means what you have to write? S by V. What do you write? T is equal to S by V. So, here now. V average is total distance by time taken. When t is equal to s by v, general formula is what you learn. Velocity is equal to displacement of time. From the quadrant, right, time is equal to displacement by velocity. For first case, what right? T1 is equal to what right? S by v means what here? S by 3 by time is what? T1. Then velocity is what? V1. And similarly for T2, S third S by 3 by V2. And T3 is similarly here, S by 3 by v3 so now you can substitute here v average is equal to total distance first part is s by 3 second part is also equal distance s by 3 and third part is s by 3 by total time taken total time is what t1 plus t2 plus t3 t1 plus t2 plus t3 then v average is equal to what did you learn S by 3 plus S by 3 plus S by 3 by 
T1, T2, T3. We have values are there. T1 is what? S3 by V1. T2 is what? S3 by V2. T3 is what? S3 by V3. So substitute here. S by 3 by V1 plus S by 3 by V2 plus S by 3 by V3. Now in numerator and denominator S by 3 is common. You can take the common now. Most important children, watch very carefully, don't skip the video. Watch the video up to last. So then V average is equal to here S by 3 is common. Then what right? S by 3 is common. Look this what? Then what again? 1 plus 1 plus 1 by here S by 3 is there. Here also S by 3 is there. Not get 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2 plus 1 by V3 is there. Now S third S third cancel. Then V average is equal to what? 3 by 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2 plus 1 by V3. So this is the formula we have to use here now. So now you can directly substitute the values V1, V2, V3 are there. So children I need some space that's why I am writing this one. <coughs> Look here. V average is equal to 3 by what is 1 by V1? 1 by V1 is what? 10 plus V2 is what? 20 km per hour. 1 by 20 and third one is what? 1 by 60. Clear. Now we have to do the LCM of 10, 20 and 60. 10, 20 and 60. Then LCM is among those 3 what it is? 60 is the LCM. Let us check 10, 20 and 60. So 10 ones are, 10 twos are, 10 threes are. So 10 into 2, 20, 20 into 3, 60. The LCM is what? 60. Then V average is equal to 3 by here. <coughs> you can write like this. V average is equal to 3 divided by LCM is 60. That's why you write 60. 10 6 are. 23 is R and plus 1. Then what you actually here? 3 into 60 by 6 plus 3 plus 1. Then V average is equals to what? 180 by 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. Then what you get? 18 kilometer per hour. So therefore, V average is equals to how much children? 18 kilometer per hour. So this is the formula. V average is total distance by total time taken. So for this situation, you have to use this formula, children. So if you want to write the notes, just pause the video and copy the notes. So children, this is the most important problem. Don't neglect it. If you can understand this one, children, just give a like, share and comment the video. Dear students, your like, your share and your comments gives me more support to me. If you want to support me, just subscribe to my channel and share our channel to your friends.